In this release, we've added the highly requested variable tables. Variable tables are created automatically when variables are defined in a part. In this example, several variables have been defined to drive the geometry of this fan. And because they were added at different stages of the development, they can be hard to locate. Variables can now be viewed, created, or edited in a new panel on the right-hand side of the screen in a part studio. Note that hovering over variables in this list cross-highlights them and related features in the model tree. The table also includes properties such as name, type, and value, and these can be edited directly from the table. This allows you to easily test design alternatives. It's also possible to filter the feature list. And relations between these variables will be reflected in the table when editing. This new variable table makes it much easier to find and edit variables, especially when they're scattered throughout your feature list. On the drawing side, there are a handful of updates related to exporting. First, drawing sheets can now be exported as SVG, JPEG, or PNG image formats, making it easier to share drawings, or in the case of SVG, to take that output directly to your laser cutter. In addition to that, when exporting to DWG or DXF formats, you previously had options to export all sheets or to export the current sheet. So, all or one. Now you can specify exactly which sheet you want to export. Use the Custom Sheets option and specify a range, non-consecutive pages, or any combination of ranges and pages. Use a hyphen for ranges and separate each page or range with a comma, just like you would for a printer. See the forum post linked in the description for more updates, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you found this helpful.